You've been assigned to manage your club's free Toast Host website, but you have no idea how to edit your site because this is your first time being exposed to that platform. Well, you came to the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you 10 different ways that you can customize your club's free Toast Host website. I'll show you how to do the following things. I'll show you how to change the URL name, set up a description, insert keywords, change the text in the top bar, how to hide those Toastmasters panels on the home page, add text to a page, add an image, change the color of your menu background and links, add a wallpaper on your website, and how to add a link to a page. Let's dive in. In order to customize your free Toast Host website, you'll need to log in as an administrator. Once you're logged in, there are two ways that you can access the back end of the website in order to customize it. The first way is to click on this button to the left hand side that says launch admin console. Once you click that, this window will pop up that says site administration. You can get to the same pop up window by clicking on this pencil icon to the right hand side. And when you hover over it, it will say edit this content. So once you click on it, the same window will pop up. As you can see, there are different tabs that you can click on to customize different sections of the website. First, we're gonna start off with how to edit your club's URL. When your club is first assigned a free Toast Toast website, your URL will typically include your club number in the first portion of it. Here, we see that this club's URL is gwinnettmetro.toastmastersclubs.org, and that's because I've already customized this club's URL. However, if this club had just gotten a free Toast Toast website, it would say something along the lines of 039677.toastmastersclubs.org. If that is the case for your club website, then you can customize the first portion of that URL by scrolling down on this pop-up window until you see something that says website alias. In here, you can replace the numbers with words. And depending on the name of your club, this is what you'll type in. So the name of this club is Gwinnett Metro Toastmasters. However, we chose to shorten it to Gwinnett Metro because Toastmasters is already included in the URL that's standard. So we put Gwinnett Metro and depending on what your club name is, you might want to shorten it too and leave out the Toastmasters part because that would automatically be included in the URL. So once you decide on what you want your website alias to be, type that out in this box and make sure you click the save button afterwards. The next thing I'll show you is how to set up a description for your website. Again, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a section that says description. In this box, you'll want to share a little bit about your club and include keywords. So it's a good idea to put the meeting days and times of your club in your description. If your club only meets online, if it meets hybrid, or if it only meets in person, then it's also a good idea to include that information in this description box. But you can go ahead and type this out. And remember, this is the information that's gonna be popping up when someone searches for your club on Google or another search engine. This is the metadata that's gonna be showing up. So here's the example for the Gwinnett Metro Toastmasters Club. We put the Gwinnett Metro Toastmasters Club is located in Lawrenceville, Georgia. We focus on helping members improve their public speaking skills and leadership skills. We meet on the second and fourth Thursday of each month from 6.30 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. If your club meets hybrid, then it's a good idea to include your time zone in here. So that way, if you have members joining from different parts of the world, they can know which time zone you are referring to in your description. Next, we're going to go over adding keywords to your free Toast Toast website. Keywords are important because like the description, they help people to find your club's website. When people are searching for Toastmasters Near Me, public speaking group, 
communication group, etc. Your club website can pop up if you include keywords in your keyword section as well as the description box. You can also include keywords in there to help people to find your club more easily via Google and other search engines. So you want to include keywords that are relevant to your Toastmasters club. So obviously we would put stuff like public speaking. You could put Toastmasters. For this club, because it's located in Lawrenceville, we could put Lawrenceville, Georgia. If your Toastmasters club is a bit niche down, you have a specific audience for there, you can also include that keyword right here. For example, if your Toastmasters club caters to small business owners, then you can include that keyword phrase, small business owners. So that way, people who are small business owners who are looking to improve their communication skills or maybe they just want to network, they can find your club via a search engine because you have this keyword or this set of keywords saved to your site's metadata. So once you decide on what keywords you want to use for people to find your club website, go ahead and type all of that in here. Make sure that you're separating your keywords by commas. That is important. That's something that they highlight here that they want you to do. So just put it after each keyword. And then once you're done, click the save button. The next thing that you can edit on your club's free Toast Toast website is the text in the top bar. I'm referring to this section right here where it currently says Toastmasters. This is another great area for you to add keywords to again help people to find your site more easily and give them some insight about what your club is actually about. In order to edit this, you can either click on this button here that says launch admin console or you can click on the pencil icon to the right hand side. Once you click on that, you'll want to go right here to the section that says main heading and that's where you can edit what you want to show up in that section. For this club, I put public speaking and leadership development group because that's what we focus on. We focus on communication and leadership, but you can customize yours to say whatever you want it to. Again, if your club is more niche down, if you target specific people such as small business owners or veterans or college students, then you can include those keywords in your main heading text in order to help them to find your site more easily and to show them that your club caters to those specific people. Once again, when, when you're done typing, you wanna click save. We wanna make sure that we are saving as we're going so that we don't have to go back and do all this work again. So save as you go. Next, let's talk about how you can remove the standard Toastmasters panels that shows up on your club's website. Now you can keep this if you want to. Each section includes information about Toastmasters. Some may have videos like this one, for example, that has a video embedded on it. This one has some text and an image. This one has text in the image. So you can keep this information if you want it to, but if you don't want these standard panels to show up on your club's website, if you prefer to write out this information yourself and customize it so that it sounds more like your club's culture and your club's tone, then the way you can do that is going back into that backend site. We want to launch the admin console. So once you launch the site administration pop-up window, you'll want to click on this tab here that says appearance, then scroll down until you see this section that says hide menu links. You'll want to click on the box that says default TM information panes on home page. This will hide those Toastmasters panels that are on the home page. But if you want to keep it again, you can leave this box unchecked. As you'll see here, you can also hide other standard links that are included on your free Toast Toast website if you liked, 
But for now, I'm just showing you how you can hide those information panes on the home page. So I'm going to click save, close this out, and it's updating. And now those Toastmasters panes are gone. So now we have a blank slate on our home page of our website that we can customize to our liking and to our club culture to really showcase what our club is about. I'm going to show you how to add text to the home page and you can use the same instructions to add text to a different page of your free Toast Toast website. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to put our mouse right here in this box where it says home page content. Now you can expand this window if you want to just so you can see what you're typing and how it's gonna look more easily, or you can keep it back how it was. It doesn't matter, it's your preference. But in order to add text, all you need to do is literally type in this box whatever it is you want to pop up. So I'm just gonna put in a little example. Let's say, welcome to the Gwinnett Metro Toastmasters Club. Okay, that is how I'm going to add text. Now, let me click save so I can show you how that's going to look. And let's close out of it. So it's a standard size, but if I wanted to change how the text looks, then I'm gonna open back up this window, scroll back down to this section, and then I'm gonna take my mouse and hover over the text until it's highlighted like this. If I would like to change the font, I can click on this drop down menu that says font and I can select a different one. Let's say I wanted to use Arial. And if I would like to make this bigger, I would click on the size drop down menu. And then here I can select which size I want my text to be. So let's choose 28. And let's say I want to make this centered and I want to make it bold. I clicked on the center icon over here and I clicked on the B to bold the text. And now let's click save and close out. And there you go. My text is much bigger, more easy to see, more easy to read. So you can play around with this and add different text to your site. Okay, so we're going back into this pop-up window so we can customize the home page. And just to note, you can do other things to your text. You could change the color of it. In order to do that, you wanna come over here and click on this little icon that has these different squares that are different colors. And if you click on the drop down menu, you can select different colors right here. So you wanna make sure, of course, you're sticking to the brand colors, but I'll just show you an example. Let's make this this color. I would select that, I would click OK. And as you can see, the color of my text changed. That's how you can add text to a page. Again, you wanna always go down to the section where it's the page content box and you click, put your mouse in it and you start typing. And if you wanna change the size or the color, you wanna make sure that you highlight whatever text you wanna change. Let's say I wanted to keep most of this text, this one color, but let's say I wanted to change these two words to a different color. I would only highlight these two words. I would come back over here to the color drop down menu and then I would select a different color and there you go I have two different colors for this text for this phrase so in order for you to change your text if you want to change the size the color the font then be sure to use your mouse to highlight whatever it is you want to change whatever text you want to change and make sure again that you are saving your work as you are editing so you do not have to start all over if there's a glitch or an error in the in the process now let's go over how you can add an image to a web page 
So I'm going to stay in this little box that says home page content. I'm going to hit enter so I can go to a new line. Then I'm going to come over here to the left hand side where I see this little Polaroid icon with a little green plus sign on it. When you hover over it, you'll see something that says image. That's what you'll want to click on. So click on this little icon. Now, if you have never uploaded an image to your site, what you're going to do is click on the upload tab in this pop-up window, and you're going to choose a file. It is very important that the picture you want to use is already saved to your computer files so that you can pull it from there and upload it to your free Toast Toast website. So once you have that file saved to your computer, come to this upload section and click on the button that says choose file. When you click on choose file, it's going to bring up a window that shows your computer files and you'll want to select the image that you want to use. So for this, I'm just gonna pick one. I'll just pick this one right here because it's the first thing here. Just for an example, I'm going to click upload and then I'm going to click this button here that says send it to the server. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over here to where it says image info. And I'm going to click on this button that says browse server. It is going to pull up all the files that I have uploaded on the website. And I'm going to choose the image that I want, which is the one I just uploaded. And I'm going to click OK. And here you can preview it to see how it looks. If you click on these green arrows, these four green arrows, it will maximize the screen. So you can see how this is going to look on your home page. Now, I don't want this image to be the size. So what I'm going to do is double click on it. And I can change the size of the image by playing around with the width and or the height. So I'm going to change the width to 500 instead. And then I'm going to click OK. And that makes it a bit smaller and easier on the eyes. I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to click Save. Close out of that. Our page is going to update. And there we go. Now I have an image on this web page. So that's how you add an image. Anytime you want to add an image to a page or you want to upload it to your site, make sure that you click on this Polaroid icon. Once this pop-up window comes up, click on the Upload tab. Choose the file from your computer. Once it has selected it, click Send it to the server. Go back to Image Info. Browse your server and then select the file that you want to include on that home page. So I'm just going to select another one. And you can always change the size of it. I typically like to make my width 500. I find that that size works really well. But you can choose a different size that you want. And it will resize it to it. I'm just going to delete that part. And close out of that. The next thing that you can edit on your free Toast Host website is the color of your menu background. If you look to the left hand side of your screen, you will see your main menu. And right now, the main menu has a white background on it. You can change the color of this background if you like. And you can change the color of the links that are showing up on the menu. Right now, it's a blue color. In order to change this, we're going to click on Launch Admin Console to go back into the Site Administration pop-up window. Then you'll want to click on the tab that says Appearance. Once you get to that tab, scroll down until you get to this section that says Text Colors for Menu Links and Meet Our Members page. Here, if you want to change the color of the menu links, which are currently a blue color, you can click on 
this section, make sure it's in the section that says public menu. Click on the drop down menu right here and then select the color that you want. I'm going to change this to black for this example. And I'm going to click save. And I'll close out of this to show you how it's going to change. And there we go. Now it is black. If I want to change the background, I'm going to launch admin console again, click on appearance and scroll back down to that section. However, now I want to look at the part that says background colors for menus, left side panels and miscellaneous pages. If I want to change the color of the menu, then I want to come over here to where it says public menu. Click on the drop down arrow there and I'm going to select what color I want. Let's change this to blue. Then I'm going to change the text link for the public menu to white since it's going to be a blue background that will probably look better. Click save. Close out of that. And there you go. Now you can see a blue background with white text links. That's how you can customize this part of your site. If you'd like to add wallpaper to your website, what you'll need to do is launch admin console again, click on appearance, then scroll down to where it says website background wallpaper. You can upload an image here if you like, or you can select the background image or pattern that is already available on the free Toast Toast website. So I'm going to choose one at random to show you how that would look. But this one is a GIF, let's do a PNG instead. Okay, and as you see to the right hand side, it does show you a preview of what exactly that pattern or that image is going to look like on your site. So once you have selected one that you like, click the save button, click close, and it will appear on your website. If you'd like to customize the wallpaper a bit more, maybe you want it to be a little bit more obvious that you do have a, a certain design on it, then what you can do is change the image scale and the opacity of it. So let's change this to 44. And when I change it to 44%, you can see that the pattern is more visible compared to when it was at 100%. So you can play around with this so it can have a bit more of a pattern, a more obvious pattern and for it to look like the way you want it to. The last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to add a link to a web page. For this example, I will stay on the home page since that's what we're currently editing. We're going to open back up this site administration pop-up window. I'm going to scroll back down to my home page content box. I'm going to come over here put my mouse after this image, click enter, and I'm going to add a link to the District 14 website as an example. So my text is going to say, click here to visit the District 14 website. Now I want people to actually go to the District 14 website by clicking on this text. And in order for me to link this text to an actual URL, what I'll need to do is highlight the text and click on this icon over here that has this green plus sign next to it. When you hover over it, it will say link. And then it will open up this box and you'll want to put in the URL. So that's what I'm going to do. And if you want to edit your display text, maybe you don't want to say this, you want to say something else, you can edit that here. Click OK and click Save. 
We're going to test this to see if it works. You always want to make sure that your links are working properly. So right now you see, click here to visit the District 14 website. If someone came onto this page and they saw this site and clicked right here, like it says, they should be taking to the District 14 website. So I'm clicking on it and yes, it takes me to the District 14 website. As you notice, when I clicked on the link, it did take me to the District 14 Toastmasters website. However, it took me out of the Gwinnett Metro Toastmasters website at the same time. If you'd like a link to open up in a new tab or a new window instead so that people don't lose the tab for your website, then what you can do is hover over that text that you included the link to, click back on the link icon, click on this tab here that says Target, click on this drop down menu and click where it says new window. Click OK, click save. Now, when I click on that text, the District 14 Toastmasters website should open up in a new tab instead. So let's test it out. I clicked on it and as you can see, it is opening in a new tab, which is awesome. So if people wanna look at this link or this website, they can do so. And if they need to get back to my club's website, they can easily click back to the other tab to get back to the site. You want to make it easy for your visitors to navigate your site, to visit any links that you include on your site, and to get back to your website if needed. So keep that in mind when you are linking to different videos or websites or whatever it is that you want to link to on a web page on your free Toast Toast website. There you have it. Those are 10 different ways that you can customize your club's free Toast Toast website. If you found this video helpful, then please give it a like so that more people can find this tutorial to customize their club's free Toast Toast website. If you would like to learn 10 more ways that you can customize your club's free Toast Toast website, then be sure to stay tuned for part two of this series.